Last time on Game of Thrones. I wonder what's weaker. Your legs? Or this house? I am the lord of this house. And you will move. The White Hills have my brother. We fight amongst ourselves, but we should be fighting them. We'd need an army to win that fight. And we don't have one. Not anymore. Summon our allies, then. I'm a what is it, Mira? It's from my mother. She asks that I help ensure Roderick's betrothal to Elena Glenmore remain intact. How can you do that from a thousand leagues away? Ah, it's my help she's after, isn't it? I'm seeing Grandmother today. She'll have some ideas about your brother's predicament. I'm sure she can help. She's subtle, but very effective. Thank you, my lady. Garrett Tuttle here wants to be a ranger. So we can go north of the wall and die on some wildling spear. But what he wants doesn't mean shit. So today you're all gonna show me what you're made of. Can you swing a sword? Shoot a bow? Are you strong? Those who do well might just survive. The rest of you... You must have hid it! <laughs> and you? I expected better, Tuttle. Instead I find you doing this! On your first bloody day of training! You clearly need a few days scrubbing the latrines. Frostfinger, I need another man to top the wall. Fine, let him freeze his balls off. What's up guys, and welcome back to Game of Thrones. This is episode 2, part 3, and let's get right into it. Um, so I'm really excited about what's to come. Um, when Asher gets back to Westeros, that's gonna be ridiculous. Um, and also, Roderick, we need him to heal up so we can start fighting freaking Ramsey. And then, of course, Garrett at the wall. Mira? I don't know, she's kind of fun, but like, I really just want some action. I guess if I'm going for story though, Mira's pretty, Mira's probably the best though, because I like arguing with Cersei and all of them. It's interesting. And of course I want to see Tyrion again. Well, this is taking a while. Wait, what? What? I gotta redo all of that? Alright, finally! Caught up. This way. Okay. <sighs> I love King's Landing in the afternoon. The sun just barely kisses your skin. You used to love this place. Remember, we'd come listen to the musicians in the evening with Lady Marjorie? What did you want to talk about? Just through here. What are you doing? I wonder You'll why I see. didn't save last time. Whatever. Queen Cersei's finest wine. Oh shit, we're getting drunk. Party all night long. Come on, sit down. <laughs> I hope you've got another one of those. <laughs> I never took you for a lush mirror. <sighs> Sadly, it's just the one.
A little won't hurt. It's just wine. I promise you, we won't get in trouble. We are so getting in trouble for this. <laughs> Search is gonna chop so, up our heads. I, uh... Well, I just... I'm not very good at this sort of thing. Listen, if I tell you this, Mira, you must promise to keep it to yourself. You can tell no one. I want to trust you, but I need you to promise. I swear, I won't tell a soul. Female secrets, My let's go. My mother was a handmaiden to Lady Elena for many years. She became pregnant. It was a disgrace to her family. My true name is Sarah. Flowers. You're a bastard? Yes. I'm fortunate to be where I am, I know that. But to always have to hide. Was your mother from a noble house? That lag though. She must she must What what is that lag, guys? What the heck is that? What is that? It must have been to serve Lady Elena. Yes, though it's not well known. Distant cousins of the Tyrells, I'm told. Oh, they wanted nothing to do with me after my mother died. Oh my god. I'm I'm so I'm so I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so I'm what so sorry. What the heck? I'm so sorry. I did all that work for lag. And it probably didn't even save, so I can't get out unless I want to redo. I'm Yes. I'm so sorry. No lag. Thank the Lord. It's just... I don't want to be Sarah Flowers forever. I need Lady Marjorie to arrange a marriage for me. It's my chance at a life. Did you have someone in mind? Someone you'd wish to marry? I'd have to convince Lady Marjorie to make an introduction first. I know she often confides in you. And I was hoping that maybe sometime when she comes to you wanting to talk, you might suggest she talk to me instead. Give me a chance to win her over. Coming from you, it's sure to mean a lot. Of course, Sarah. Thank you, Mira. All right. Thank you. We gotta help her out. Even though she's probably gonna stab me in the back. I'm so sorry. Here I am talking about myself. I know your family's troubles are much greater than mine. With what happened to your brother and your father. You need this more than I do. Hmm. A conspiracy of handmaidens. Lord Tyrion. My lord. Ladies. <laughs> what have we here? If you mean to drink... From that flagon, you're going about it the wrong way. We aren't doing anything wrong. <laughs> On the contrary, you seem to be doing everything right. See, Tyrion is the best. <laughs> Not the finest arbor red, but a favorite of my sister's. Quite expensive for a handmaiden. <laughs> I'd be curious to know how you got hold of it. Since I'm certain my sister didn't give it to you. She won't even share with me. Though that's hardly surprising. I took the wine from the cellars. <laughs> Aren't you full of surprises? I suggest bringing cups next time. There are risks worth taking. Stealing wine from the Queen Regent isn't one of them. 
especially if you wish to have an alliance with me. Things have changed. My father has recently taken an interest in Ironwood. Most of the Royal Navy went up in green flames. It must be rebuilt. He insisted I handle things myself. I'm on my way to meet representatives of Lord Whitehill. Lord Whitehill? He's hired a pair of merchant lords to broker for his house. Okay, we gotta convince Lord Tyrion. Whitehill wishes to sell the Ironwood right out from beneath your family. I don't know much about the man, but judging by his up-jumped sellswords, I will speak for House Forrester. Perhaps you could. Come with me. These men think I have no choice but to deal with them. Imagine their surprise when I bring a Forester to the table. It might be the first fun I've had in months. <laughs> I'm down. My lady. Still drinking, God. Please save. Okay, it saved. <sighs> you know what, let's keep going. I I spent so much time just trying to freaking get to this point. We might as well just finish this part. We've been waiting here for an hour. Andros, be courteous. Courtesy in a merchant. Like finding gold in your chamber pot. <laughs> Apologies, my Who this guy? Who is this? Some girl you've brought for entertainment? She's a lady, Lord Andros. My name is Mira Forrester. <laughs> Mira Forrester. Mira Forrester? Why are you here? A fair question. We were told we would be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. I'm here to sell our Ironwood, my lord. Oh, really? Andros. <laughs> I'm sorry, Lady Mira, but we've already spoken to Lord You Tyrion. spoke, I listened. Lady Mira has since persuaded me to consider her offer first. Now, if you'll excuse us... You're going to dismiss You can't us? do this! I assure you, I can. This is a mistake, my lord. I don't think so. Lord Whitehill will hear of this. He's not a man to take such matters lightly. Nor am I. That's enough, Andros. Lord Andros, I'm truly sorry if I've upset you. You have no idea. Lord Tyrion. Lord Tyrion. Do let me know when you've come to a decision. I'd like the opportunity to change your mind. Lady Mira. Good day, gentlemen. Ah, well, that was fun. Now, as for your offer, what did you have in mind? My lord? The Crown's Ironwood. I assume you have a proposition? I don't know. You had a reason for coming here. I know it wasn't just to entertain me. My family can supply all that the Crown needs. You're suggesting the Foresters be our sole supplier of Ironwood. Lord Whitehill will be left in the cold. If he wishes to sell to the Crown, he'll have to do so through your family. Yes, you that'd be like perfect. Your mercy. Or you'll bring your houses to open war. You do know that's a possibility, don't you? Then that's a risk I'll have to take. We can take that risk. With Asher and Roderick. Oh, actually, Roderick needs to heal up. Shit. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I'll consider the arrangement. Of course, you'd have to do something for me in return. Don't worry. The terms will be fair. What is it you want? You'll know soon enough. Well, that's not good. We have an understanding then. But Tyrion's pretty chill, Thank so... Thank you, my lord. I don't expect anything too ridiculous. It'll either be very good for both of us, or very bad for you. For your sake, I hope it's the former. I hope it's the former, too. My lady.
let's do this. Seriously, more of them? They were headed for the main gate. I know another way. You come in with us then. If you're to save your house, you'll need more than the two of us at your side. You'll need an army. That's why you're here, isn't it? To hire one. An army of cell sorts. That would be amazing. Do you hear what I'm saying, boy? I can lead an army. I know you can. I've always known it. Your father was blind to that. <laughs> None of that matters without sellswords to hire. And all the companies around here are engaged. What about Croft? One-eyed Croft, with the second sons. Oh, the second They're sons. They're all with the Targaryen girl now. Yeah, Croft owes me a favor. I'm pretty sure he hates you, actually. No. <laughs> He'll help us. I'll make sure of it. And how are you going to do that? We didn't part on the best of terms. I'll be charming. <laughs> right. Well, this mother of dragons and her cell swords are headed north, so we make for Marine. Wait, Marine? Shit. What? Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. We can't afford any distractions. It's not your problem. It'll be fine. I promise. What kind of unfinished business? The kind I'd rather keep to myself. Oh, yeah. How did we end up where we started? That worked out. Just one more we'll have to kill later. Let's go. You did well back there, Asher. You acted like a true leader. You two can talk about it later. We need to get out of here. They won't stop looking for, looking for us. It's a long journey to Marine on foot. I hope you're ready, Asher. Man, so we're not heading easy. back yet? Let's just get that army. I'm ready. Good lad. Either we cross the narrow sea with an army at our backs, or House Forester will not survive to see winter. <laughs> Dude, if we come back with an army, it's game. All right, I'll pause it there. Okay, guys, thanks for watching, and. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. This part was interesting. I had to replay the Garrett part like twice from last part, so that was kind of annoying, but it's whatever. Thanks for watching though. Peace.